here's the rough plan for the Rube Goldberg project session number two. The story behind the Rube Goldberg machine is simply somebody pressing the doorbell at the Sharp project and ending up after several interesting interactions with the machines backwards and forwards having the doors of the Sharp project open and let them in. So to start with we've got to get somebody to press the doorbell. That somehow then has got to trigger the big track. The big track goes forward like we got going in the previous session, presses a button. The button then jumps through the controller software into Minecraft. Say it sends off a minecart, then in the first Minecraft server uh, lots of things happen that are interesting and ends up with uh, a switch or something similar being triggered. From that switch we jump back to the controller. The controller via Twilio sends a text message uh, over to the phone. The phone is balanced on the seesaw, again like we got going at the end of the first session. Because of the vibrate mode of the phone on the seesaw, the phone falls off the seesaw, knocking over the dominoes, calling, causing all sorts of things to happen, balls to spin forward and then flick a switch. The switch triggers Scratch. In Scratch, there's some animation using the wonderful Scratch Cat or something else. Uh, once the Scratch team have got their animation complete, then we trigger back to Minecraft on the second Minecraft server. The second Minecraft server does some more things, maybe pushing a piston, firing an arrow, and etc. Whatever the imagination comes up with. When finished, the second Minecraft server then signals via a web request to the laptop that we got going last time. The laptop pops open the CD drawer, causing some more physical things to happen, ending up with the water being poured into the jug, raising the level of the water, which causes the electrical connection being monitored by the Arduino to trigger. That kicks off Minecraft server number three. Uh, I hope we'll have enough people there to get three Minecraft servers with interesting things happening. Again, lots of things run right in Minecraft, fireworks, lava, waterfalls, anything you can think of, but hopefully some dynamite. Ends up with uh, a trigger to the physical world that somehow manages to press the button that opens the Sharp Project doors and lets the person in. 